Now then, we're talking about, we won't go all the way back to Galatians 3 for um, uh, today, but we talked about the curse where Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. We're talking about the curse. And then we, we talked about being redeemed from the curse so that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles and that we might receive it by faith. This blessing, it, it, be, it became the blessing. I, I, I can't emphasize that strongly enough. The blessing. Say it. The blessing. Not a blessing. The blessing. Back a number of years ago, when the Lord first, no, just this is just um, all of the things I'm talking to you about and Monday and Tuesday and now going into the Wednesday here, all, all of these things, I studied these for years and years, but all of a sudden it, it, my, 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 my spirit and my mind expanded and I saw it. it and, and the Lord said, from now on, Anytime you write any form of the word bless, bless, blessing, blessed, write it in all capital letters to impress me the blessing, the blessing. And I still do it today. And I know there's people, you know, get texts from me or, or in a letter or something. All of a sudden, I just capitalize the word blessed. I guess they think I'm just excited about it. Well, I am. <laughs> but I'm still walking in obedience to the Lord from that for that. Now then, in, um, let, let's remember, let's go back to, to uh, Genesis 12 again, where we were yesterday. Now the Lord said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. Now you notice he didn't tell him where the land was or what it was or anything else. He just said, I will show you. Amen. He intends for you to walk by faith. And this is the reason Abraham was so hugely successful with God. I'll show you. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. I'll bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed. Now that's the reason. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that's the reason Abraham is in the, the place in which he is in tonight. Amen. 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 The father of our faith is because God said it and he'd just do it. Amen. 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 Just, go, just go check him out in, in his life and just, just watch how he does that. And then pattern yourself after him. Now, Amen. in um, uh, the fourteenth chapter again, I want to get. I'm going to spend a little time here with this. The, verse seventeen: The king of Sodom went out to meet Abram after his return from the slaughter of Chedorlaomer and the kings that were with him at the valley of Shiva, which is the king's deal. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine. Now, I mentioned this yesterday, but this is important. Ham and Japheth, Noah's son, after God, after the blessing 
came then to Noah to start things over again. Same blessing. Ham and Japheth did the same thing with that blessing that Adam did with it and just walked away from it. But Shem did not. He stayed with it. And Jewish records show that Shem is Melchizedek, king of Salem. That's what the word Melchizedek means. King, Lord Mayor of Salem. That's his title. He brought forth bread and wine and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him. Now, listen very carefully at this. He blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God. That's covenant talk. Blessed be Abram of God. Abram is in covenant with God. This is Abram of God. Uh, you, you, you catch the import of that? Final information. Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, er, hold it. He didn't call God possessor of heaven and earth. He called Abram possessor of heaven and earth. And you'll see it. You'll, you'll see it. Look, look, look at the very next verse. And blessed be the most high God, which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand and gave him tithes of all. Now, he just got through saying, blessed be Abram of the most high God, possessor of heaven and earth, and bless God. Oh, Stephanie's still looking at me like, okay, hold your place there. Go over to the book of Romans. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the fourth chapter of the book of Romans, verse 12, and the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had being yet uncircumcised for the promise that he should be heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. Amen. Heir of the world, possessor of heaven and earth. That's just another way of saying it, isn't it? Come on, somebody ought to praise God for that. <laughs> hey, hey, that the blessing of Abraham might come on. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. yes. And we've been raised up to sit with him in the heavenly places far above all principalities. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you can't shout about that, there's something wrong with you. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, praise God. Now, we can go back to the 28th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy. And 
and it shall come to pass, if you will hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, before I even read this, A, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law so that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. That's you and me. Thank you very much. That we might by faith receive the promise of the Spirit. <laughs> Glory to God. Every word of this belongs to you. All these blessings are part of the blessing. All of these blessings shall come on you. I glory to God, just come on. Just come on, just come on me. We, we got home from, we'd, we'd been gone for several days, well, in fact, a few weeks <clears throat> on the road and got home. And, and there was a, a little uh, yellow 500 Mercedes convertible in my driveway blocking my garage. And I drove up there and I told Gloria, I said, wonder whose car that is. And I, so I called and, you know, uh, called the office and talked to somebody. I said, um, there's a, a car in my driveway that doesn't belong to them. Do you know what thing about it? Yeah, that's yours. No, no, I said, that's not mine. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's yours. I said, where did I get it? <laughs> they said, one of your partners just brought it to you. I was kind of dumbfounded. And I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> so, and, and then I, of course I got all excited and, and, and immediately got a rag, started rubbing on it, you know. And so, <laughs> Beautiful car. But then I, I and I, I knew I, I had to go before the Lord with this. And, and I said, Lord, um, now I didn't, it, I, it, that, that's a beautiful car, a nice car. And I received it. I'm, and I blessed my, my partner. Oh my. But that, that car is not even part of my, my, desire for a car. I never ask you for a car like that. Like, what happened? He quoted that scripture to me. Said, he said, you remember in my word, all these blessings will come on you and overtake you. I said, yes, sir. He said, boy, you just got overtook. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'll tell you, I, got, I, was, I, just, I just have to tell you, glory, I've just been getting overtook ever since. I mean, amen. amen. Well, now, now you can see why. Yes. People that don't understand what we're talking about. It's not because God's so good to glory in me. It's because God's so good. Amen. He's good to anybody. Yes. He'll do this for anybody. But when people don't know that and they yield to the natural carnal mind and yield to the devil who would give anything to stop that blessing from, from ever, for anybody else ever finding out anything about it, start talking just as ugly as they possibly can about you and me and everybody that gets any kind of blessing that's, you know, and get jealous. Whoa. Why? To stop it? Yeah. Now we know why 
The scripture says, and you will receive in this life a hundredfold. And in the world to come eternal life, you'll receive in this life a hundredfold with persecutions. That's no reason to withdraw. Jesus is just letting you know when you start prospering, you're going to get persecuted for it. Well, listen, when people, now this is, <laughs> glory to God. Remember, when you, when people despitefully use and persecute you, they qualify you for the devil. You think they're going to persecute you over that? Well, you double. Yeah. Double up. Just double up. Nobody really understands the power of the double. It's a powerful thing. Powerful thing. Just figure it out. And, and it's, it's not, that we're not even talking about the blessing, we're just talking about the math. You double a penny every day for 30 days and it'll wind up $10 million. Now you turn that into a dollar every day, double it every day. I don't believe that. Well, that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> May I help you? Would you like to have some good information? Yes. Google it, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me for calling you dummy. <laughs> you know how it's done? Google it. They'll tell you the same thing. That's the power of the double. Yes. What do you think? A hundredfold. Whoa. Well, that's the reason Satan is so vehemently against it. He just tries everything he can to persecute you out of it. Don't let him have it. Uh-uh, don't let him have that. Glory to God. It belongs to you, not him. Thank you, Lord. Now then, <laughs> blessed, say blessed, blessed, shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the field. Well, that's about everywhere, isn't it? Blessed shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle and the increase of your kind, K-I-N-E. Now, kind to agricultural people were the uh, work animals. This is whatever you need any kind of equipment to be thoroughly furnished. Your kind, amen. Boy, I mean, right there in that one little verse, man, I'm telling you what, there, there are trucks, tractors, I mean, there are airplanes, cars, there, everything you need is in that verse. Glory to God. Now, man, you can just really get overtook with this one if you just... Really, if it's really, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Blessed shall be your basket and your store. Woo! Blessed shall you be when you come in. Oh, that's wonderful. But blessed shall you be when you go out. Coming in and going. Glory to God. I'm blessed. I'm blessed because of my father Abraham. I'm blessed because Jesus redeemed me from the curse. And I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> and the Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before your face. They'll come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. James 4, 7. People are not your enemy. We're not fighting flesh and blood. You take care of the devils and the flesh and blood will behave. 
Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Seven ways. That means he's hunting for a door in every direction to get out of your presence. Just, I, <laughs> uh, just begin to see yourself differently. Uh, John Osteen, back years and years and years ago, uh, John and Dodie and Gloria and I are very, very good friends. And <laughs> he said, <laughs> now, th and this is a good picture. You need this. The, 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 a ruler of the darkness of this world is walking down the street and a bunch of little principalities and powers, little low level devils are getting assignments. And the ruler said, now you two go in that house. You two go in this house. And they came up here. They came up in front of John's house. And they said, and then one of them, the devil says, can I go in there? He said, no, 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 no. Don't, don't go in there. Stay out of that. Don't you go in that house. Them people will hurt you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And, he, and he said, I tell you, we ought to be so hard on the devil that every time you open your eyes in the morning, they say, oh, no, she's up again. Lord. <laughs> oh, no. No, not that EMIC bunch. No. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Are we getting anywhere with this? Well, somebody ought to shout about it then. Glory to God. Oh, and this eighth one. And in fact, we're going to talk about this eighth one, and then we'll begin on this eighth one again tomorrow in uh, tomorrow's uh, broadcast. The Lord shall command the blessing upon you in your storehouses and in all you set your hand unto he will bless thee in the land glory to God I said glory to God that means everything your hand finds to do you ought to, you ought to know it's blessed hallelujah Thank you, Lord Jesus. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.